Hey guys, I'm Andrew Weiner, and I am a historian. I focus on the history of New York, so I guess you could call me a historian. Get it? Like, historian, New York, historic? Okay. Well, New York City has an incredible history to it, but today we're going to focus on one little piece over on 51st Street and 6th Avenue. Radio City Music Hall, the city that radio built. Built in 1932, Radio City Music Hall is home to the world-famous Rockettes. Over the years, countless acts have played here, including musicians, comedians, and Rockettes. Generations and generations, so many Rockettes, that if you laid them end to end, they would be able to reach the moon, grab it, and pull it down back into the earth. So let's just be glad we're not stacking rockets end to end. In 1894, a man by the name of Marconi built a machine that allowed people to steal the radio waves right out of the air and use them for their own entertainment. Over the next 30 years, radios became more and more popular, and in the mid-1920s, they demanded their own autonomy. At first, the United States government balked at the idea and in the summer of 1928, the radios screamed. They played anything and everything they could get their hands on. Many a radio was beaten to death on the streets of America that year. But the radios would not stop. And finally, the United States government gave in and allowed the radios a central hub, a radio city, if you will. Over the 1930s, 40s, and 50s, Radio City was so powerful that they held their own elections, traded with nearby Manhattan, and even sent a delegate to the UN. But in the 1950s, television had been invented, and the power of the radios was slowly disappearing. When digital broadcasting was invented in the 90s, it was over for the radios, but they still have their Radio City that you can visit today to relive the glory of the past, right here in New York City. I'm Andrew Weiner, New York historian. It was built by bees.